Welcome to the EE voicemail. I'm sorry, but the person you've called is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. It's me again. I know I shouldn't exactly be calling, but... Well, Mum dropped off another lesson today. It's the same old chorus from home. Whenever you're ready. I know my ready isn't soon enough for them. Mum says that I'm in the denial stage. I don't know what comes next, but... I don't think that I'm ready for that either. She met him. So it's keeping things alive. But that's exactly against the point, isn't it? I guess I'm just calling because I don't really know what to do. I feel like you'd have the answer. I should probably go. Sorry for calling again. I don't know, it's like I half expect you to pick up. Alright then. Bye, Dad. You probably think I'm taking this for granted. I don't. I've read your letters. I'm sorry if you felt pushed into any of this. I didn't. I just... I guess I used to think it was a case of your hair because he's not... Which you don't anymore. I feel the same way. You do? I don't feel like I deserve it. Why? I guess I feel this responsibility to live the life that he would have wanted. To make something of my future to prove that I deserve to be here. I never really thought about what this was doing to you. I guess I thought it'd just be all sunshine and roses. And that you wouldn't have given him much thought. I think about him all the time. I mean, it's a little hard not to when he's drumming in my chest. Have you been waiting long? About a year or so. I had six, maybe seven months left on the clock when I got the call. That call changed my life. It gave me time, prospects, and the future. I just don't think any of it will have to live up to the guilt. What do you mean by the guilt? That this had to happen for me to still be here. It's just like, it's like one week. What makes me so extraordinary that out of everybody, I'm the one who gets a second chance? What have I got to then go on to do to achieve to prove that I deserve to be here? My dad would have called that survivor's guilt. Do you believe in fate, Sam? I'm not sure. My dad did. He used to talk about the future like it was a rite of passage. So much so that I don't think I ever imagined one without him here. Do you think this is fate? I think you believe so. It was always about the whens with him, never the ifs. When I grow up, when I have kids, when I get married. I never really understood it, but I think you get to a point when you realise living for the future means sacrificing the present. He wouldn't want you living like that. This is your borrowed time, make the most of it. You don't sit around trying to shape your life into what you think it should be. You're living because of him, not for him. And you didn't ask for any of this. Neither did he. He put himself on the register. Did you ever think about saying no? 
guess I didn't like the thought of him being pulled apart, dissected, not being whole. But he'd made his decision and I needed to stand by that. I didn't get to say goodbye. In fact, I don't even remember what the last thing I said to him was. I'm just left with a silence. And it pounds in my head. And I can't find a way to drown it out. I wasn't there the night that he died. I was supposed to be. We planned to go to a game. Pull them away. But I stayed here to go to a party because of course there'll always be another game until there's not. He'd been caught in a pileup, M25. He was still conscious when they arrived at the hospital, but they weren't confident they'd last much longer. I tried to get them as fast as I could, but there wasn't enough time. I didn't get to say goodbye. What would you have said if you, if you were there? I love him. And I wish he was here. Just for one more moment. One more conversation. One more laugh. One more cry. I thought you might want something uh, a little more long term. a way to fill the silence, Dad. And it's a beautiful sound. It's still painful. Really quite painful. But I found peace in it. Peace in you. And a life that you changed and a gift that you gave. This is a gift most people don't find in loss. You made Sam's life whole again. <laughs> and I mean it when I say that he really appreciates you. And trust me, he's gonna take such good care of you. <laughs> Things are gonna be a bit different from now on. See, the thing is, I spent so long trying to find a way to say goodbye. <laughs> but this isn't one. This is hello. <laughs> Just in a very different way. <laughs> I just need you to know that I hear you. <laughs> loud and clear. <laughs> and I love you. And I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> and I'm so proud to call you my dad.
Sim.